This is my now my home. I'm moving in. I'm living here forever. Oh my gosh, I'm unwell. The first Parisian flea market. It's in my dreams. Every home looks like this. I may have lost you forever. I got something from the flea market. Pack it up and bring it home with me. I love it. This is the cutest thing. Welcome back to the vlog. We are on our way to the airport <laughs> to go to France. And I want to go around the room and ask everybody what they're most excited for to do. Okay, mom, you're first. What are you most excited for? I don't know. I just asked you what the itinerary was. I don't know what we're I literally have an entire itinerary for this trip. Mom goes, I don't know. You take the wheel. I don't care what we do. Easy peasy. I go with the flow. I told you all I had to do was get to your house and then you were gonna take over. And uh, yeah, and it never fails. I always I plan a trip and it someone doesn't care until we're literally leaving for the airport. Then like, what are we doing? Where are we going? What are you most excited for? You're so good at it though. I, I know. Um, it is a, it's an art. Tell me what I'm gonna like the best. Oh, you know what I tell you do. what you're gonna like the best? Yeah, I like out of town stuff. It's oh. all out of town, Mom. Well, we're going to have a really good time. <laughs> Um, like the countryside. Are you okay? So you're excited for the south of France? Yes. I see. Yeah. Okay, we're doing that on Sunday. Absolutely. We're taking the train down to the south of France. I'm actually really excited to go to Versailles because I I really Me too. Um, right. Yeah. Okay, so we Romeo. Didn't get to go. We didn't get to go last time. We didn't, we didn't get to go. I know we didn't have enough time. Uh, didn't go Notre get to Dame. go any of the restaurants I wanted to go to. We saw Notre Dame. Passed by it, right? Yeah. On the bus. Yeah. What are you most excited for? Me? Yeah, you. Oh, uh, the flea market shopping. <laughs> oh yeah, mom! Did you forget we were going to the flea market? That's like the main. She uh, forgot. She had no idea. She is just along for the ride, mom. Don't did we you always forget? go to the flea market? But it's the Paris flea market. Yeah. I'm really excited about that. We're actually going to three different ones, and the Paris flea market is made up of lots of flea markets in and of itself. I think 14. I can't remember. Lots of flea markets in the Paris flea. There's also another flea market that is uh, the day before. And then we'll also be going to a flea market in the south of France in Aix-en-Provence. It's V-I-D-E, uh -huh. Grenier. Grenier, okay. Grenier. Yeah, if there's any attic sales. Attic it's basically, sales. I guess, what like their version of an estate sale, I would say, or a yard sale. That's, That's why we're not really into doing anything like touristy because we've both, all of us have done that. Mom went years ago and and 23 did those years ago 23 yeah, yeah you get 2000 she went in year 2000 when we did it last year and we yeah. did like are we going to the Eiffel Tower again yeah yeah because oh, okay. I want to see it sparkle oh that's true I don't think I'm going to wear this LA hat once I get there though why I think I'm going to transform into a Parisian McKenna halfway into the air <laughs> <laughs> what you get now is LA McKenna <laughs> you know and then all of a sudden anyway whether Halfway across the there, pond. Still, what? Whether you're here or there, you're still French. It's true. I am. I know. We are. are. Um, but halfway across the pond, I'm just going to get a little calmer. Okay. More demure. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, blended. Okay. So we're on our way to the airport. We are parking our car there because it is, in fact, cheaper versus how far we live from the airport to get Ubers for this amount of luggage to and from the airport would cost us the same if not more so we opted to book um, a spot early and save and we're going to park and then we're going to ride the little tram to terminal uh, the Tom Bradley terminal which is the international terminal and we're flying Delta but we're actually flying Air France because <laughs> we're going to be on an Air France plane Cigarette. De la veille me laisse sans voix et mes jeunes années au réveil défilent devant moi. J'ai beau me dire. Que demain 
Il fera beau, je crains le pire et soudain Je parle tout seul que pour ma gueule Je parle tout seul avec moi seul à seul Les sentiments oubliés Au réveil Font la gueule de bois Et ma jeunesse passée À la fenêtre Défile devant moi Oh, hi! Welcome home! This is my now my home. I'm moving in. I'm living here forever. Come on in. Let's give you a tour. When I found this Airbnb, I fell in love with it in the pictures, but I was like, is it going to look as good in person as it did in the pictures and online? Because sometimes it doesn't. I can tell you that the pictures don't even do it justice. Like, that's how cute this place is. So, you have a little kitchen right off the door. So cute. I mean, what more could you ask for? Just everything that we could need. That's why I also like staying in Airbnbs because you have all of the essentials. Like, you can have a refrigerator. Like, the refrigerator is here. This place is from the 18th century and it's absolutely stunning. And it's like all original. <laughs> We have coffee, an espresso machine. We have cutie little bowls. We have basil and sage out the window that we could cook. I doubt we cook while we're here, but we could. We could have a whole dinner party. And then right here, right next to the door, you wouldn't, I, okay, comment down below what you think is going to be behind this door. Cause I didn't know. It's a shower. <laughs> a really amazing shower. Cause I've already used it. We showered right off the plane love it i love the dark tile everything about it i love it the wood ceiling i didn't realize it was wood up there yeah we continue these gorgeous windows these french windows that open when i booked this airbnb it was going to be in the 70s and then it creeped up into the 80s and now it's in the 90s but these windows are like saving us from the heat so she opened them all up before we got here um and it's going to be in the 90s this week so it's going to be hot but it feels pretty good in here right now we have a little dining area a little banquette and a little big, big dining table i love this piece of art i love that so much I want to find one like that. That is so gorgeous. I love that, that she hung it off center too. And the whole room in here is vaulted with skylights and there are two additional rooms upstairs, which I'll show you, which is so cool. We have this whole situation, this fireplace, this mirror, these candlesticks, this woman. I love it all, all of it. Pack it up and bring it home with me. I love it. I, look how cute that is. I'm imagining all of are functional, but since it's 90 degrees, we will not be lighting a fire at all. I love this, all the books and things. Look at all of this, like everything that she's like just curated and put in here and just like collected. All these museum books and little jars for things. I want the bookshelves in the house to look like this. <laughs> like filled and then over here there's actually um a toilet in here super uh simple she, when she gave us the tour she was like it's not exciting i don't even know where the light is is there a light hey, right there oh ah. there it is oh there's a man in here oh i love this though like look at this just in here <laughs> so a little toilet toilet room oh look at this like handmade thing and then you continue, it's just a little cupboard here with um, where you can put your clothes and stuff. I feel like this is the only closet in the house though. I didn't see any other ones. A little seating area with a really pretty picture that we would buy from a flea market, which we're probably gonna try and buy and try and send home. <laughs> 100%, a little nice little area here. Some lemons for whatever we want. This room is the, she's calling the living room. So it's another fireplace. And what was in here? 
Just said nothing interesting. Oh. Uh, oh, linens, more towels and things in here, and a day bed. Uh, so there's the single bed in here, and then we have a bedroom, and then there's also a bed upstairs, in the, but it's really hard to get to, so we obviously won't use it, but you can also go up these steps to an office which is so cool, but that's just more of her stuff up there. We won't access that at all anyways. Then you enter the bedroom area. We have our luggage in here already, but I love the books. I love the window. I love the low bed. It makes this small room feel like really large, like being so like low to the ground. And then another little cupboard. These, I love, these are dried hydrangeas. I love them so much. I love all the art. And then you continue over here to the bathroom. So the shower is in the front and then this is just the bathtub and the bathroom with a washer as well. And pretty lights and things and a bidet. Just when I found this Airbnb, I was like, what? And it, it did say it was like usually booked. You can never really get here. Like she, and it had rave reviews. So I was like, okay, this should be like pretty promising. It's, what do you think, mom? It's beautiful. <laughs> it's like, it's in my dreams. Every home looks like this. I may have lost you forever. <laughs> just try and figure out how I could just stay here forever. Um, but it's just so crazy. So we got ready. We are going to go out now. Um, it's about five something, I think, 5.30 here, but it's like eight or 9 a.m. our time, uh, if, if, if even that. But I did sleep like five hours. Romeo and I slept like five hours on the flight. Mom, well, how, how late, you said an hour you said? You about, said? An hour. about an hour. Look how pretty she looks. She I looks so pretty. Miss something. Oh, she she was gonna miss the cookies and the snacks that came I got around. Cookies and she snacks got to, and we were asleep. So, but overall, the flight was like I felt pretty fast because I did sleep more than halfway. It was nine hours and forty five minutes from L A to Paris, uh, to Gaulle. And so. you worked every other minute that you weren't asleep. Yeah, and I did. I worked. You know, if I'm not missing anything and I'm just sitting there, I'm going to be working. I want to go exploring. Today was just about exploring the area where we're staying in the third arrondissement. It's like the area that I wanted to stay in. Um, so I'm really, really excited to explore it because it looked so cute when we got here and drove up and the blue doors and I was just overwhelmed with everything. I was like, oh my God, I love this red wall. Should I paint a wall red? No, that's like, like like brick, orange. So we are wandering around. We're going into this store I wanted to go to called Flo. Um, at LPX. Let's see what they That'd be too big for Kinsley though, huh? Yeah. There are so many of these Fleur stores. F-L-E-U-X, Fleur, those. So many of those stores. It's very um, modern. It reminds me of like more Scandinavian, like, I mean, not, not my style personally, but I saw it on a list of like home decor stores to like visit. It's not my vibe, but there's so many stores. They must be successful, right? Six, I saw like six stores of them. One and, across the street, and then there's another one. And then there's another one across the street. And then there's a kids one. You guys, look how cute these hats are. One says blondie. One says brunette. Me and mom. Like literally. How cute. So where we're staying is actually just like a short walk to the Seine. Um, like right by the Louvre really. And I wanted to do like a sunset stroll. <laughs> on the Seine. I don't know, today was just like really random. Like we, we didn't know what to, how long it was gonna take us to get from the airport and like do all of that stuff and get settled in Airbnb. And we don't know how tired we were gonna be. Um, we just have dinner reservations later at 10, 15. It's the only reservation I could get at Pink Mama. All those people on that big old boat. <laughs>
We are currently getting snacks. Mom's trying to that one says Cheetos. Mom's trying just to decipher what they say. We have made it back to the Airbnb. We are pretty tired. I think it's just the, yeah, it's just the combination of flying and lack of, I think I only slept. Mom only slept an hour. I don't know how she's going around. There's only lamps in the house. I'm trying to figure out how to turn them all on. Oh. Which makes it so nice. And she said she has a lot of candles around, but obviously don't ever leave them on when you're not here, but it does make a nice kind of vibe. A little candlelight for you. Thank you. Are they scented? They smell good. We have about an hour before we have to leave for dinner. Our dinner is pretty late because I figured it would be like our lunch time, but now we're actually kind of, I'm like acclimating. <laughs> I'm like, I'm ready to go to bed. So that's good. Yeah. Like, like getting used to the time already. So our dinner reservations are at 10.15 at Pink Mama because that's the only, I could only get late reservations. Um, so we'll have a nice Italian dinner at Pink Mama and then we'll come back, we'll start a new day tomorrow because <laughs> like i feel like we'll be all refreshed tomorrow we won't be we do a lot Just had our first night in the airbnb where we were worried because it was so hot during the day it's in the 90s um it got really cool at night it feels so amazing right now uh so we went so long without having good coffee traveling the travel day is always so hard you just kind of get coffee where you can uh, romeo was like we're doing it we're going to get coffee early so i got up and showered so that my hair dried because we're actually having a photo shoot today never get really cute like family pictures it's always just very like you know us trying to like ask someone to like take pictures and stuff i reached out to this photographer on instagram and so she's gonna come and because i mean we're just staying in the most gorgeous place like i feel like it's worth it i know so okay. good morning we're gonna go get some coffee and i washed my hair so that it could just like dry naturally because i don't travel with any like heat products or like anything like that so because i just like my hair natural anyways do we know where we're going for coffee yeah. we're just gonna pick one of them that we passed works for me i am slowly starting to remember this that um <laughs> it is like 8 a.m and I'm slowly starting to remember that France doesn't wake up quite as early, especially their coffee shops. They're all going to open until 10, at least the ones around us. Our little walk up to our Airbnb is so cute. I mean, it's some stairs, but it's cute. We are getting ready for the day. We'll just have about an hour photo shoot. <laughs> you guys, we just finished the shoot. It was so much fun just shooting with all of us. I've changed, I've changed a bunch of times today. It's now like 93 degrees. Blue parachute pants, this little striped shirt. Put my hair up because I cannot have my hair be like sticking to me. Now I need to find my purse and my phone. And we're gonna go actually to a flea market that's today. It's from seven to seven. It's about 12.30 now or so. 
So we're gonna go there. Then we're gonna do some museums. I wanna go to the Louvre gift shop and get a, a few things that I know I want. Or what are we gonna eat? That's also something that we're gonna do. Energy. We're gonna need some energy, yes. <laughs> Move so much around that everything's everywhere. Oh, there's my purse. It's like a smaller one. Obviously we're gonna spend a whole day at the Paris flea market on Saturday. And it's like 14 or so markets all combined together. That's gonna happen on Saturday, all day. Let me go to my Google Maps. I've saved all of our locations that we wanna go to. Oh my God, dinner last night, you guys, was so good. Oh yeah. That was so, Pink Mama, so good. We got to sit on the terrace at like a shared table, although no one sat next to us, so that was good. So worth it, it was worth the hype. Our photographer is the cutest, sweetest, most talented thing. I will leave her handle she's amazing if you're ever in paris and you want to do a shoot and you want to create like like capture a memory maybe something it's a major event you're getting engaged having a baby or major life moment or you just want to like you know capture the moment Dude, her photos are great her photos are Holy incredible boy. it's a 20 minute walk to where the flea market so we have walked about a mile and a half I was getting a little worried. There wouldn't actually be a flea market today, but then we started to see tents. <laughs> it was just like a small, I saw, I kind of um, translated the city events website and found this one today. Oh my gosh, I'm unwell. The first Parisian flea market. <gasps> and I need to go on all the things. would be like the perfect little cabinet for the kitchen. Look how skinny. Walked away, came back, looked at it again. She came down in price. 
because of mom. Mom got it. <laughs> it's so pretty. It's like everything. Hydrangeas, moody, crackled, old. Sign me up. I love it. That was a smaller flea market. I mean, it probably had like maybe like 15 or 20 boots. This was really pretty. I'm just, I am being very selective. If I will regret not buying it later and I, it could fit in my luggage, then I've got to buy it. We made it to Cezanne. I'm very excited about this. This was like, so cute. Bonjour. So cute. These are so cute. These are Look how cute these are. Yeah. Yeah. Are you looking at belts? They have pretty different belts. get to see these last time. Look, she's taking photos, like wedding photos. It is very bright and sunny and hot. Uh, we are currently at the Louvre. <laughs> We're just kind of walking around actually. We've just been like stopping at different places. We found those little black and white striped little pedestal things that at the it was at Palais Royale. I didn't know where that was. We just stumbled upon it because I wanted to walk through the park. What? It's kind of wonderful just exploring. We went to Gallery Vivienne. I'm sorry if I butcher everything. I, I really do try. I want to learn French like fluently so bad. Like I want to get the accent right, like the inflection right. We're at the Louvre. We're trying to find the carousel gift. entrance because we just want to go to the gift shop. It's across the street, right? Remember, it came up last time when we looked, we looked over and it was a little You're right. Thing. Okay, we found the entrance. It was because it looked different because they're doing construction on the, the Arc de Triomphe carousel at, at the Louvre. Not the real Arc, not the other Arc de Triomphe, this one. Carousel. Oh, we found it. Ah, it feels so good to be in AC too. Mom's fading. My poor mom. Oh, she has to go. She's good. She has to go down slow. Cute little Christmas ornaments. Oh my god, look, kids sleep. Look how cute. Oh my gosh, does it say M and L? Maybe for Mona Lisa? Oh yeah, it says Mona Lisa. I was like, oh my god, those are my initials. I say, it. My god, I was on a mission to find croissant babies for Kinsley. <gasps> oh my, she is going to die. I cannot handle this at all. Look at this. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I was just dreamt that up. I didn't know it was going to be real. I just looked to my right and I saw a little croissant baby. Oh my god. I love this. Mom, this is the cutest oh. thing. Oh, you guys, we made it back. Back to the Airbnb tidied up a little bit. We kind of had stuff everywhere. Uh, we walked about, I think Romeo said 15,000 miles today. 15,000 miles. Wow, I'm tired. No, I did not walk. I would, that would mean I would have walked all the way home and back. No, around the world. No, no, no. 15,000 steps today. From our Airbnb, we walked to the flea market, which was a little, like a, about a mile and a half, and kind of like stopping along the way, picked up some sandwiches, and went to the flea market. The flea market was pretty small. Um, it was just like a few booths, but I did get that one art, and it's really, really pretty. <laughs> so I am excited about that. It, it's making me excited to go to the flea market, you know, the big one on, on Saturday. From there, we walked to Cezanne, and I got really cute sunglasses. I need to show you. 
Okay, first of all, how cute. <laughs> Packaging all of their, I think that all of their bags, maybe, maybe not. Okay, there's a, there is one of these stores in LA. It's in the Brentwood Country Mart. And I've been meaning to get over there, but I just haven't because I really want um, one of their sweaters. But I looked at their wall of sweaters, you know, kind of like all their pictures are like they're known for. I feel like that's how I know them. Uh, and literally just looking at them made me hot because it's just so hot here. So sweating and looking at buying a sweater was not happening. So I'm like, no, I saw it in person. I'll just order it online or go to the Brentwood Country Mart. Um, but when we were there, I didn't bring any sunglasses. So we were trying some on and found these. Okay, first of all, packaging. They get points for packaging, lots of points. This is so cute. And it doesn't end there. Hold on, please. <laughs> it's like a sunglass holder of my dreams. So cute. So I got the sunglasses because we're gonna be out, I mean, we're gonna be outside all day at the Paris Flea, which I normally don't like to wear sunglasses because I can't see what I'm looking at very well. But these, when I looked through them, they have such a pretty, they're not dark for me, like looking, obviously they're gonna, you know, help my eyes, but they're not like hindering me look at anything. They have a really pretty filter on them and they were really, really cute. I like the color a lot. I'll leave them linked for you because they're like really cute. And I think I'm slowly getting more comfortable. I felt like when we first got here, I was really nervous or really embarrassed to like talk to people. I was really self-conscious because I just like, was second guessing knowing what they were gonna say or how they were gonna respond. And so I've gotten it kind of down. My, my French is slowly coming back. <laughs> like, okay, because if you just don't practice a language, you lose it. And it just doesn't come like supernatural. So anyways, I got that and that was super cute. And then from Cezanne, we walked down through Palais Royale where the little um, little steps are where you can like the little round circle things you can stand on and the garden and then we went to the Louvre and we stayed quite a bit at the Louvre because we were getting really tired and I really wanted to go to the bookstore um, so we walked around the bookstore and got a few things um, a few souvenirs just for like family and stuff what's today Thursday so Thursday night Friday night Saturday night we have three more nights here we have five days and four nights so three more nights here and then Sunday we leave for the south of France. So we have a lot of fun things happening. I hope you guys enjoyed the first Paris vlog. Stay tuned for more. We are going to the Paris Flea. We are tomorrow going to Versailles. I was so sad that we didn't get to go to Versailles last time we were here. So I'm really excited to do that. And then after that, I don't have anything planned. I tried not to like overbook us you know I, I wanted one thing every day that i had like okay we're gonna do this one thing and then everything outside of that is just like really fluid it's been working really well this airbnb is the most magical thing i've ever been to and stayed in i still can't believe it's even real um yeah i'll be just like staring at it all night and go to sleep i will see you guys tomorrow and in the next vlog bye guys Woo, i'm tired my feet hurt I need to rest up because we're going to be walking all day tomorrow at Versailles. <sighs>